Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the uh, VMware certification VCP6 data center virtualization video uh, videos and um, this is the third video and in this video I am going to uh, show you how to configure Active Directory authentication for vCenter 6. So in last video we have installed our vCenter server first vCenter server in our infrastructure. So here is my uh, like demo environment which I am going to use in this uh, this video so as as previously we have one domain control server which is win 2 k 12 dc01 here it is if you see uh, we have installed active directory and dns role on this server and my server name is win 2 k 12 dc01 and here is my domain name victorinfosol.com and my uh, domain uh, my vcenter second one is my vcenter server uh, uh, the host name is vcenter6 and I have assigned 12 GB RAM to this machine and this machine is joined under my domain victorinfosol.com and I have uh, installed vcenter web client and vspare uh, client on this machine so if you go here and like tools active directory users and computers You can see uh, my machine is uh, vCenter server is joined my, in my domain and I have logged in on my vCenter server by using domain account which is vCenter admin here you can see but uh, after the installation of vCenter if I go uh, to log in on my like vCenter web client or vCenter uh, vSphere client by using the uh, uh, Active Directory account which, which is my vCenter admin if, if it will give you the uh, like uh, uh, it will not going to accept the uh, domain credential because my domain ID is not authenticated for login to my vCenter server and uh, and use the vCenter authentication so you can see now cannot complete login due to incorrect username and password means this account does not have access to my vCenter server so if I go and log in here with my credential which we have the set at the time of installation of vCenter you can see we are able to log in like v spare dot local and the password which we have set at the time of installation this account is a uh, um, like set at the time of installation so this account has administrative access on our vCenter infrastructure you can see loading main from so and the same if if I'm going to use my this account here you can see we have logged in successfully to our vCenter server and if I want to do any administrative activity by using this account definitely we can do because this is the main administrator account for like we have created one data center call it DC India you can see we are able to create it but I cannot uh, uh, able to log in with my domain account on vSphere or vSphere web client so what I am going to do in this video I am going to add my active directory authentication for vCenter servers so here it is so how to do it first check some setting about the vSphere so vSphere authentication and these things so I'm going to log in with my administrative account the default administrative account for vCenter So something mistake in administrators. So now I can see let's log in. So now we, you can see we have logged into our vCenter server, and if you go c and click on roles. 
so here you can see we have different different type of role in roles in v v spare so basically administrative uh, you can see the administrator which we have click on privilege if you want to check on privilege we have all privilege like uh, data center uh, the administrator is basically can do anything and if you click on read only the, uh, this account have read only information for all the account no access we have no access resource post virtual machine user sample like uh, they they can schedule a, uh, a task related to virtual machines we have data store consumers so so different different type of rules and uh, roles and if you want to add any role that uh, depends on depending on your requirement you can make it like here from if you want someone to assign the permission to be a like a uh you can see manage the host only so you can go here and click select the host and you can type it like host administrator so so by using this you can get the one more uh, a role which is defined by use you and uh the the user of this group uh like if you uh, add some user in this group they have already uh, access to like host group so this is all about the like creating the groups and modifying the uh, roles and vSphere so what we have if you go to configurations uh, go to like configuration and if you click on identity source you can see we have the vCenter 6 local OS and we have a uh, vSphere local so both are the like uh, you can see the local machine authentication so you can't add something so the first thing I want to show you create a one local account for this machine and I want to give the access for this machine like if I uh, go to computer management on this server our vCenter server and here you can see I have only administrator account right now so if I go here and create one account like call it Vikas with my name and going to set the password for Vikas account and password never expire so here I have created one account which is go here and also add this user group in local administrator account so oops go and find go to administrators add here so this is now the local administrator account but if I try to log in with this account like localhost and type the name mm, call it vcenter6 slash vikas and I'm going to put my credential for vikas it will not going to use like you do not have permission to log into this server we sent this so basically we don't have permission to log in and now I'm going to log uh, provide permission for this local account and then we will add the active user account also so for that we have to go here at home and go to host and clusters so on a on like our vCenter server go and click on manage we have tab permissions and here you can see the uh, uh, by default few things added uh, which which is like vSphere.local accounts so if I click here add button we have um, user sense group you can select from here if I click here we have two options we have local account and vSphere local two options 
uh, we we don't have option here to add a domain so for now I, I want to add my Vikas account as administrator on my vSphere so Vikas is added here and role is administrator and if you click on OK button let's try to log in with this account and if we have just added to administrator profile and if I click here now you can see uh, we got the access for uh, my newly created local account which is Vikas on my vCenter admin so it's working perfectly fine and now if we go here if I close this one and I, I will tr uh, let's try to log in with my domain account it will not going to work so for that we need to add first the identity source for our domain then we we will uh, have option to select the domain account from here so let's go there and add the identity source could not complete incorrect username and password good to know click on home page so go on home page and click on administration and we have option here under the configuration identity source policy identity source so click on add you can see the uh, oh, domain we have local and we have the uh, local server name so click on add button and then it will give you option to add uh, like Active Directory integrated Windows authentication these things so I want to add my Active Directory so go ahead and click OK it will take a few seconds only to add your Active Directory authentication here and now if you go on home page and your data store and cluster and if you go here and manage permissions and if you click on plus button it will give you option to add the like uh, domain account now so you can see the Victor Infosol our domain is listed here now and if I go here we have option to add our vCenter type the local account name vCenter and you can hit enter it will search the object so here we have I have added my vCenter account as administrator account in my v, uh, data center for like v, v, v center server so click OK and now you have option like here if you list so Victor InfoSol vCenter admin is added and if now you can try with your domain account you can see we are able to log in vSphere web client and if I logged out from here also and let's try to log in with domain account on so here you can see we have successfully logged in with our domain account to the active domain account and let's try on this also so web client also to v so uh, we have to type v center v center admin at the re vector info soul dot com and password for this account so you can see we have logged in with our domain account now so so what we we have done in this video we have integrated the active directory authentication active directory user authentication for vCenter and also we have checked the local account authentication for vCenter server so 
thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail id thank you once again bye bye